high tech machinery like atomic force microscope needs completely vibration free environment in order to counter such a vibration we need to measure vibrations very precisely as a group of advanced technology student we made an accelerometer which can measure nano scale vibration we call it accelerometer wanted to make an accelerometer and we needed to make so i we thought that we can make a really sensitive one and we looked up about the michelson interferometer and apparently this is kind of one of the most sensitive accelerometer so it basically uses a laser to detect the acceleration the accelerometer works on the principle of michelson interferometer a laser beam which is guided inside of the accelerometer is split by a beam splitter in two directions and when they are reflected by the two mirrors the beams come back to the beam splitter and they are recombined to form an interference pattern any movement in the mirror can be traced by the fringe pattern and the phototype goals for module 4 was to build the accelerometer and to make a theoretical analysis of the accelerometer the the, uh, the theoretical analysis was done successfully on time but while building it we had very complications everything had to be built from us with a limited budget so everything was difficult but in the end we were able to conclude everything successfully The main issue about the our setup is the alignment of course because it's an optical readout so whenever we have to take a measurement we have to make sure that it's perfectly aligned so every time we have to set up the monster and then we have to uh, align it and the alignment can be like if the accelerometer monster is in a good mood then we it can take 15 minutes but if it's not in a good mood then it can take up to 1 hour aligning it and Well, when we finally align it, we get good results. But still we were able to get the correct alignment and the output was a very naughty signal which it's something like a cosine inside of a sine. Module 5 topics were mostly about signal analyzing and uh, we left our last project of module 4 at the signal analyzing part so we thought it would be a good idea just to continue with that project. Fundamental idea is that that if you you are building an accelerometer so if a customer is buying that accelerometer so he is not interested in getting a graph and then reading it after doing some kind of analysis. He fundamentally wants that he puts his device at a place and he reads acceleration equal to 5 meter per second square we wanted to analyze the signal but make it real process real time processing so we developed an algorithm that uh, could analyze the signal and at the same time give an after analyzing it uh, give the results of the amplitude and frequency of the vibration the signal we had was a frequency modulated signal thought that we can simply fourier transform it and it will be easy to find it out but that's that's not the case it contains like infinite energy spectrum inside it so we cannot directly fourier transform it so we needed to think of an algorithm and also the algorithm that we we not we can count but the algorithm which a computer can calculate that was the main idea because we needed computer to give an algorithm on which it can work and find out the frequency and amplitude so we needed to think of it and we were trying to figure out and it was very difficult we contacted several person who is working with the signal processing we talked to the different phd persons with the different professors and yeah it was quite difficult we read different papers we found different literatures but nobody was leading to a proper direction but at the end we would be able to figure out we th thought of an al algorithm it was numerically difficult to work with that algorithm but we realized we were quite near there just a step behind we just needed to square the signal and it worked and when it worked it was awesome we had the 
uh, awesome experience to go to the nano lab and we went to a vibrationless free uh, room which uh, we could uh, take our accelerometer monster and make some measurements there And it was really nice because then we could finally see that our accelerometer was working and it was having nice signals. And uh, especially because now, since we were in, in a vibrationless free room, we didn't have as much noise. So we could clearly see that frequency modulated signal whenever we induced the vibration. So it was really nice. And it's actually funny that if you look at the accelerometer, you see like a big box and you're like, okay, what is this? Well, actually, the accelerometer actually measures nano vibration. Then it was quite fascinating. We were like, wow. A person on the multi scale mechanics department, which was interested in our project, and it was really nice to see that people would actually be interested in our accelerometer. When you do some kind of calculation, you make your own device you write some bunch of code and your computer takes like a minute to answer. You think that you are doing a nice stuff. It's, it's a monster. Yay, Accelero Monster. Accelero Monster.